Welcome to the vlog, guys. There has been police everywhere. This is like four or five. So we're at the thrift store. I have to depend on my husband because I left my debit card at home, which means we have to go back there to get it so I could go buy animal feed. But anyway, I'll have to, uh, if I find something, I'll have to butter him up. <laughs> oh my goodness, I had to show this for Sherry. Look, it's sheepy. It's $3.99. I thought he was really cute too. Look at him. The music's really loud, so I haven't been filming. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's a mess. Freaking nasty mess. I'm gonna step out again. It's a freaking nasty mess. We're at the chicken feed store. I'm sorry. Look at the mud. There's some morning glories over there. Look at all the butterflies. Let me see your shirt, Wednesday. Ooh. You haven't brushed your hair in a few days. You brushed it yesterday. It looks good. You took a bath yesterday. Nope. Wait, reach further in. <laughs> oh, silly goose. The 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 uh, post office is on the way or to the feed store, so that's why we always stop when we go to the feed store. Pan with her crock pot meals. We're having bean soup. Um, I'm hoping it will be done. If not, I can do a. Um, hold on, baby. I'm vlogging. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping. I'm trying to find my knife. My knife, my knife. Did I use it yesterday? I did. I did. Um, I'm hoping that it will be done. Usually I cook it for eight hours in the crock pot. This is a no soak um, method. Just no soaking and it turns out fine. Um, but I only have like six hours. So <laughs> if for any reason my beans are not fully cooked, I will pour this into the instant pot and just bring it up to pressure and then release and usually that does a trick um anyway i've got some fat back i was finally able to get it um my walmart is continually out continually so either you can fry this up and add it or you can just add it so i'm just adding it you don't need a whole lot um it's you know what? I don't even need any salt. I grabbed my salt out, but then I forgot. I was doing fat back. Um, so I might add a couple more pieces. This is really good if you fry it up. I'm going to add these little pieces here. Okay. So, and I'm going to probably, um, not probably, but I am I'm going to put that in a Ziploc baggie and I'm going to freeze it because I don't know the next time I'll need it. And I just kind of give them a little look over. And with the rocks are like, to me they kind of look like little pieces of 
like cement or like this weird uh, consistency. I thought I saw one. But it wasn't. So I got all my beans in there. I'm making tea. I'll put my sugar in my tea real quick. I'm glad Aldi's had sugar finally. I buy my sugar at Aldi's and they've been out for two weeks. Over two weeks it seems. We like our tea sweet, so. But how I make my tea is on the stove in a pot. I just fill a pot of water. I add a cup to a cup and a half of sugar and three family-sized tea bags. But I let the water come up to a boil to dissolve my sugar. Then I turn it off. And I add my tea bags and I just let it steep for a while. The longer the stronger. But I'm gonna add my I add celery and onions. I'm going to chop up onion and celery and I'm going to add it. Okay, now because I added fat back this time, I am not going to add chicken broth. I'm going to add water. Adding seven cups of water. I could probably go with eight, but it's okay. We'll we'll check it because those beans will swell. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna add one more cup, so it'll be eight cups of water. I'm gonna add a tablespoon. It's not gonna fit. Darn you. About a heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. Now for our seasonings. I'm going to add some onion powder. some garlic powder even though I just did add garlic but trust the process okay I'm gonna add some chili oh chipotle chili peppers just a little sprinkle of that and we're gonna add some chili powder we're gonna add some pepper I'm going to add a bay leaf or two. And you could also add some carrots. Um, I'm going to add some canned carrots towards the end. And there's my bay leaves. I thought I had a spoon out. I guess I haven't. Oh my God. 
good mix in here. And that is supper. I'm going to put the lid on. After it cooks down a bit, or cooks, those beans start to soften, I'll come back in and mix it up. And if I need to add more water, I will add that time. Which, that is pretty much, if I wasn't adding the, the, um, the fat back, I would add some salt, but fat back is salty, so... I also might add this. I usually do. But, you know, I added all the other stuff. What is in this anyway? Ham flavor. I can tell say what's in it. But we got the fat back. We should be delicious with that. Three, two, one. It's the most wonderful time. Don't care of anything else. It 
it's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Such a charm, got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present Come over here, now it is time To get out in the snow Lighting a light with you Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring No one loves you as much as I Hot wine by the fire yeah. Here on our own We got nothing to fear It's Christmas And some kind of love My friend Pick up some candy canes And hang a wreath on your door It's Christmas Outside snow's glistening just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Let's load up and blow up
Hi guys. So it is after midnight. It is like 11, 12. <coughs> Sorry. 12.45. And I am heading to bed. Um, I just wanted to show you guys. I put this. This was a pre-lit tree, but the lights um, went out and I tried to save it, but... I remember I tried last year and it still didn't work so I cut all the lights off and these are from the Dollar Tree but I'm gonna get a string of lights and put that on and then I was gonna turn it into a chicken tree but I actually think I want a big tree a bigger tree like a maybe a three four foot tree we'll see um, but I did move one of our chairs down here to make room for Christmas so I showed you guys um, Still some Christmas I need to put out and do, but it's a start. So I moved the chair down here, and this was my idea for down here. But And honestly, I kind of like the vibe it gives because that is a chair from like the 70s. And, ooh, and it kind of matches, you know what I mean? It kind of matches like the decor, and it's like all, you know, that orange, that 70s, 80s that you know orange color anyway so I decided to I uh, brought my garland down and I was I'm not gonna put it in the kitchen I normally put it in the kitchen and I just decided not to because I've got too much stuff to move and so I'm like look really cute I have to get an extension cord though because it's just uh, yeah and then this was something that was brought from uh, my mother-in-law's, like, this was in her building, and I think Starly brought it home, like, many, many years ago, and so, but one of the bells is broke off, but it looks very, you know, antique, and so I brought it down, and then I had a bunch of these little sprigs that I bought for a quarter, um, last year, and my idea was to decorate with it, and so I didn't have no, nothing to do with them, so I just stuck them in the basket. And that's it. And then I brought her down. So she was on my shelf. I cleared um, most of my chicken stuff off the shelves and put the Christmas stuff up because usually that's what I do. Oh, at the thrift store today, I bought this shelf. Um, I was like, oh, it'll be perfect for my printer. So my idea was, because that's what my printer looks like, I was going to put my paper on one shelf and my printer on the other. But this thing leans like this. So if it was like an actual like shelf, I know I could totally do something to make it like this. But I thought, you know, my printer could be like down here and then or my paper could be down here, my printer could and it could feed up and out, right? Right now we just have it on this. Um but now I don't think I'm gonna do that. I will eventually find some kind of like little side thing there you know we're always at the thrift store so I'm sure we'll find it um, I did find this colander um, I've got another one so this is a big one and I think it was like 99 cents at the thrift store and so I couldn't pass it up um, but I honestly think like look you guys if I put the shelf like here if I sit, I must not these pillows. If I, you know, have this here and I want to watch TV, I can have like all of my things on here. I can, you know what I mean? It can be like, it can hold remotes and such. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So I just set it there for now. But, uh, I brought, I bought her at the thrift store and she had another, there was another one that was, um, with it, but it didn't look, I don't know, it didn't have the look that I liked, so I left it, but now I think I should have bought it, I could have put it on the other side, but I don't, I don't remember what she looked like, but anyway, I did hang up the, um, Mary Mushroom 
This is like something from my mother-in-law's building. She was into ceramics and painting ceramics and you know her painting is we've got some of her stuff. I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. Upstairs a lot of Christmas stuff but and that came from this store, that came from this store, that came from and you guys remember when I bought that. I don't know if I ever showed when I bought I think I did. Um, but yeah, everything pretty much is thrifted. Except for this. I think this came from my husband's work. They were getting rid of it and he's like, do you want this? I was like, yes. And it used to house my um, ribbon. But the ribbon I mainly use is in that drawer right there. And all the other ribbon I put on the shelf. It's messy, you guys, in there. So, but anyway, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead, you guys, I probably look rough. I was up, I was watching the election, you guys. I got suckered into watching the stupid, um, I mainly was watching it on um, TikTok. So I found, it was Fox, I was watching Fox, I think it was. Um, and you know, I just, it was one of those things where you just want to know before you go to sleep who won. And so, anyway, um, it's just stating that I have stayed up, <laughs> you guys. Uh, I'm saying all this just to tell you guys that I was up until 2 o'clock and then we had to get up at 7 to go to Shirley's appointment. And so, and then I did Christmas and put all of the Christmas stuff out. And that took all day and I made dinner and, you know, we had family dinner and then I come down and worked. And I watched Last Christmas, which is my absolute favorite Christmas movie. If you've never watched Last Christmas, um, just just do so. Just watch Last Christmas. It's I just love it. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite Christmas movie is. And maybe it's one I haven't watched before and I will watch it. And if I watch it, I will, you know, tell you on my blog. Like, so-and-so said this was their favorite movie and so I decided to watch it and I watched it um my favorite so my absolute favorite is last Christmas and um but once it's like I have to watch it like several times not several probably several I'll probably watch it because I just watched it. I'll probably watch it at least four or five more times this Christmas season. If not more. Um, but I also watched... So we watched Elf today. Sterling and I. Journey and I. While we were decorating the tree. And then she wanted to watch The Grinch. So we love Elf. We love The Grinch. I personally love A Christmas Story. Um, because, you know, it's old. And you know, I just like... And I like It's a Wonderful Life. Um... I think I just, I like old stuff. I, I just, I don't know. And um, Christmas Vacation, I did watch that already too. <laughs> um, one evening I watched Christmas Vacation in A Christmas Story um, when I was down here working. And then, yeah. But I'm gonna head to bed. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>